Welcome back, everyone. Virginia State University is the latest HBCU to clear unpaid tuition and fee balances for students. Lucky them. The debt relief for students who were enrolled during the pandemic are getting this relief. The school announced it was able to forgive the balances thanks to the Federal CARES Act. This is only for VSU balances, not outside student loans. Dr. William Spriggs is joining me now. He's well known for his work as Assistant Secretary of Labor for Policy from 2009 to 2012 under President Barack Obama. He's a chief economist and economics chair at Howard University. Good to see you once again, Dr. Spriggs. We're talking HBCUs today, putting money toward reducing student debt. Why is that so important? Well, it's vitally important. In the 20th century, the one that finished over 22 years ago, the United States made a deep and huge commitment to make college accessible and affordable. In 1946, because of the GI Bill, over half the students in college were there for free. In the 1950s, we added the National Student Defense Loan that made college affordable by having low interest rate loans to thousands of students for giving those who would go on to be public school teachers both those periods, of course, Black Americans had little access to those programs because of discrimination and providing public high schools that would give you access to college, and the fact that there were very few colleges that would accept us. In this century, the 21st century, we switched policy totally. We went from where 20% of college expenses at public universities was covered by tuition, the bulk being covered by the government to where now in many states, over half the university's revenue comes from tuition. And so that switch in the 22 years of this century put a burden on African-Americans that we simply could not afford because we are the group with the least wealth. And the result has been a huge amount of debt placed on black families in this century the biggest gains in the last 12 years because of defunding at the public level and putting it on individuals. So black families are far more likely to have student debt. They are far more likely to have lots of student debt. And unfortunately, because we didn't maintain our investment and commitment to historically black colleges and universities, while they are where our students get to go, they don't have the endowments to do what Virginia State just did. They don't have the kind of money that the well-endowed universities have to just forgive that. Uh, unfortunately, those universities admit a very tiny share of black students. So the very well-endowed universities, we have very little access to. The universities we do have access to don't have the heavy endowments. And so the CARES Act did a great thing by letting HBCUs pass on huge savings to their students. Do you think that moving forward that these students are gonna be able to get rid of this debt ultimately? The, we're talking about a certain amount of schools here, not all of them. Would you like to see all of the HBCUs able to uh, clear the debt for their students? Do you think that's possible? And how important is that moving forward? And, and I'm gonna ask you, you were under uh, Barack Obama's administration. How do you think the Biden administration is doing uh, to help deal with this? Well, uh, other HBCUs also got federal CARES money. It depends upon the state they were in, whether they had other resources from their state that would give them the freedom that Virginia State was able to exercise with its students and super kudos to Virginia State for being able to manage that. Hopefully, if not full forgiveness, they'll be able to give some partial forgiveness. But going forward, we have to change our national policy because it's not sustainable to put the burden on students to provide higher education that switch, of course, occurred when the majority of students started being students of color and low-income students. And so it's a, it's a little past ironic uh, to, to think that the national policy changed irrespective of the makeup of the students that we would be helping. The Biden administration made a promise during the campaign to help with debt relief. But how you structure it would matter greatly 
if the administration only does $10,000 in debt relief, this really does not reach black families. In fact, if it only says $10,000, then the majority of the money will go to white students and for black families, only 35% would benefit. The administration has to go bigger and bolder so that it will actually have a racial equity aspect to it. If the government says $50,000 cancellation, and if they raise the limit, the income limit up to $125,000, then you would see that 72% of black families would benefit in terms of, of, of how many are gonna have their debt canceled and a much bigger share of the total debt facing black families would be uh, accomplished. So that's the range. If he goes small, it's not gonna really help black families. It will mostly help white families and it will exacerbate the racial disparity. He's gonna have to go big to understand the depth and the breadth of black families need to borrow money because of our lack of wealth. Even high income black families have to borrow money for their kids to be able to go to school. Yeah, definitely, definitely there's more work that needs to be done. Thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Spriggs. As always, we enjoy having you here on BNC. Take care. Thanks.